Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's once again time to make jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> the next question, after you've made your jack-o'-lantern face, is of course, how do we illuminate the jack-o'-lantern? <laughs> well, one way, of course, is the old-fashioned candle, which may have its own mm, drawbacks. Unattended flame. <laughs> The next, of course, is the happy little LED-powered light bulb. The little thing you put inside, it glows, it flickers maybe a little bit. Of course, that has its own drawbacks, too. Which, some of them are one-time use, then you throw it away, which in my opinion is a little wasteful. Or there's the ones that have the batteries, which you need to replace the batteries, and sometimes they're weird batteries, which can get expensive. Well, instead of that, I have a better idea, a more renewable idea. How about we use the solar light? The simple, inexpensive solar stake light you put out in your yard. How do we use this to easily light up your pumpkin, you ask? Well, actually, there's a very simple way. Allow me to demonstrate. Hello. Now we have the simple solar stake light. This is very inexpensive, sticks in your yard, walkway, illuminates, etc., etc. Specifically, this kind that can come apart. I'll put this in a bookshelf or, or in a closet somewhere where you remember where it is for when the pumpkin rots. Now, this kind, as we can see from the bottom here, the light can go straight down if it wants to. So, the simple fact is we select an area on the pumpkin, normally in the upper area, and we will cut a small hole enough so that this solar lantern can fit all the way through, snugly, not too tight that it breaks the plastic bark or the pumpkin, and not too loose that it just falls out. Let me demonstrate how to do it. It's a little bit at a time. You don't want to go too quickly with this part. Make the hole, and then we'll make it gradually out until we can snugly fit the solar panel in. Just want to get it little by little. And I would suggest the pumpkin saws because they're re really good at carving a pumpkin. Not very ex expensive either. Uh, not quite. I'm going to try to carve it out. Not quite. Almost there, though. <clears throat> Almost getting there. A little bit more, I think. Nope. There we go. Nice and snug. Help me! There's a solar panel growing out of my head! And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A three lantern solar powered pumpkin. Now, through the magic of television, we will see what this pumpkin looks like at night. Okay. Here's one solar light. Now the second solar light. And the third solar light. Voila. Solared, powered, Pumpkin. 
and it even naturally flickers because little bugs will crawl in and fly around the lights. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Like I said, this is easy to do. Put whatever face you want on your pumpkin. Just remember to save the steak part. Put it in the cupboard somewhere. You won't forget it. And when the pumpkin rots, you can use the little solar panels again. There we go. And if you liked that video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like the video. And if you'd like to, I should have a square around the pumpkin if I understand YouTube properly. Which will show you a quick little video link. A quick link to... A link to a quick video about me at a charity pumpkin carving event called Guts for Make-A-Wish Foundation. I came in. The wonderful gold-painted pumpkin, first individual place. I'll give you a hint, there are three solar panels on that pumpkin. And also three faces, too. Do whatever you want with the face of your pumpkin. And if you think the solar panel is an interesting idea, let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Have a good day.